as often as possible, we really like to lift up nonprofits in our community just to share the work they're doing to make a difference. Today, we highlight the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. So they have a strong and simple goal, and that is to cure leukemia, lymphoma, Hodgkin's disease, and myeloma, while also improving the quality of life of patients and their families. So joining us today is Leah Swanson, an executive with LLS covering our region, and Sophie Hefner, who is in the middle of cancer treatment, but recently got involved in the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Glad to have both of you. Thank you. Okay, so Sophie, I want to start with you. You've been through, gosh, uh, you're a strong woman <laughs> who's been through a very rough and an intense start to the year. Can you just update everybody on where you are with your treatment and what you've been dealing with? Yeah, so I was diagnosed in April of this year, yeah. and I'm currently towards the end of the first like big chunk of chemo and I'm doing a blenitumumab, which is an immuno cancer treatment. It's a little less intense than chemo because I had a lung infection that kind of knocked me down this summer. Sure. And I'm, I had lung surgery in the beginning of October. So recovering from that and starting this treatment to hopefully get into maintenance. And it's a two year maintenance program, which is an oral chemo pill that I can go back to living life doing that. I so look forward to that for you. I remember seeing pictures of you, you know, prior to your diagnosis and just being, you know, a strong athlete and uh, what are the things that you look forward to, you know, when this is all wrapped up? Yeah, I'm a senior in college, so yeah. I really want to go back and see my friends and just live out my last semester of college before becoming an adult, <laughs> basically. Um, and just like being comfortable and like feeling normal and like healthy and exercising. I really like to exercise. So I really want to just be back to normal life. Just finding gratitude and the normalcy. I look yeah. forward to that for you too. Okay, so I want, uh, we were talking about this ad that you saw on Instagram, yeah. you know, in the midst of your treatment, talk about that moment when you saw it and thought, hey, we, this is something we could get involved in. Yeah, so I was in the hospital still yeah. and I was just going on Instagram and I was like, light the night and I was like, what's, what's that? And it said Dallas and I was like, oh, this is where I am. So I clicked on that and it brought me to the LS website and it was show this cool event with all the lanterns and it said like it, what it does, it donates and it said bring lightness to the darkness of cancer and I was, I saw that quote and it really stuck with me and I was like, I want to help. So my parents and their friends, they set up a website for me and my team page and I was able to share my team page on my Instagram mm -hmm. and then fr my friends from college, my hometown, Dallas, they were able to donate. And, and you raised the thousands of dollars. Yeah. My gosh, it is wonderful. Okay, so Leah, will you hear Sophie's story? What does it feel like to hear, wow, just, it, it, of course there's this huge financial impact, right? But you're touching individuals day in and day out. Yeah, I'm about to start crying. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, I mean, it's it's amazing. I mean, I think one of the things for me, like just, you know, for someone like Sophie to be in the middle of her own fight, right, and, and want to help others, right, that, that's so inspiring. Our events, like, are bringing patients, families, caregivers together um, and being able to, to surround them with, with hope and, you know, that, that community that um, there's everybody there has a story and has been impacted in some way. And my hope is that this story can be like the Instagram ad for somebody else, right? Where they see the right. story and think, okay, I can get involved. Yes. So I know that you're doing events year round. Talk yep. about some of the local efforts that happen. Absolutely, so um, we're just wrapping up our Light the Night, which is a huge community event um, with the lanterns that she mentioned that all represent, you know, whether you've lost somebody or you're a patient or survivor. Um, we also have a big climb in Dallas in March. We have a St. Valentine's Day luncheon. It's its 40th anniversary. That happens in February. Um, we have galas in the spring. Um, we have, you know, advocacy volunteers, patient volunteers. We have, um, there's something for everybody. There is a way for everybody to get involved. Oh, that is so wonderful, and we'll make sure to link up the website and everything like that. Thank you both for coming. We are cheering you on. Uh, Sophie and, and Leah, thank you for your time as well. Absolutely. Thank you. So here's the deal, you guys. We have got to support them, and there are so many different ways to get involved. I'm telling you, just go to the website, and for sure there is a way that you can participate in one way or another. It's lls.org, and if you didn't catch it, you know we will put it on our website, which is cw33.com.